What's going on folks? About to be showing how you would check your house outlets to make sure that they're working correctly. This is going to be a test pretty much checking your AC which basically stands for alternating current in your house, your house outlets. I'm going to be using a multimeter to do this with. So before we get started I want to show you how you should have your multimeter set up to check your AC in your house outlets. These multimeters are pretty um, neat to have and they're very, very convenient and it can help out with a lot of stuff. And they only cost maybe between, you can get one maybe $15, $20 or something like that. But to test your, your house outlets, which runs on alternating current, the first thing that you're going to want to do is make sure that you have your dial set to, you're going to be, say you're testing your 120 outlets. You normally you have 240 and 120. Your 240 pretty much is what you would be using for testing like your outlet that you use like to run your dryer or something like a, a electric stove or something like that. But to just test your house outlets which is normally going to be a um, one, um, 120 you're going to want to first of all make sure you have your multimeter turn to where you see the back up where you can see that V with the little squiggly line right there and since we're going to be testing only the 120 you don't need to have it on 600 you want to take it down to the 200 volt and also you want to make sure that you have this on volt you don't want to test this on current you want to make sure that you're testing it on your volts so to test your um, actual house outlet First, you want to make sure you have it on 200 volts. And if you happen to be testing a 240, then of course you're going to want to go ahead and take this up to the 600 volt. You always want to have your multimeter reading at higher than what the volt is that you're going to be testing. So if you're testing 120, then 200 should be fine. If you're going to be testing 240, take it up to the 600 volt. And once you've done that, now what you want to do is make sure that you have your probes in the correct spots. I already had them in here. So your black probe should always go into the common right here. Make sure you stick that inside of there. And you want to make sure that you have your red probe in the slot that shows the V. It should look like that with the V and the MA like that on it. You don't want to have it in this slot over here. You don't want to have it in this slot. So whatever kind of multimeter you have, always put it in to where you see it looking like this. Kind of with that V, with the symbol, MA, and maybe just a little bit differently. But you want to make sure that you have your settings like that. And once you have this set up correctly, now I'm going to go ahead and show you how to test your outlet just to make sure enough power has been put out. As well as make sure you don't have, sometimes you can have too much power coming out, too much voltage coming out of it, or you may have too little coming out of it. Either one of those can cause a problem in your house. Now, now that you got it set, I'm give you another look again. Make sure that you have it set to the setting with the V with the squiggly line on it. See, as I got it set right there. And you want to, if you're testing the 120, your outlets, then you want to have it to 200 volts. If that's an option on yours, whatever is above um, 120, you want to have it on. You don't need to put it on 600. Just go right above whatever it is you're going to be testing. And once you have that set, like I said, you make sure you have it on volt. You don't want to have it on current or nothing. And down here, make sure that you have the red probe plugged into the one with the V, with the symbol, with the MA on it. And make sure you have your black probe plugged into the common. All right, let's go ahead and test the outlet. All right, folks, so now that we got our multimeter all set up, now we're going to be checking this outlet right here to make sure that the power is coming to it correctly. You'll notice you have a red probe as well as a black probe. You want to make sure that you stick the black probe in first, and then stick the red probe in. And if you look at your outlets, normally you'll see there's a long slot and there's a short slot. The long slot is going to be your neutral the short slot is going to be a hot. So what, you, what you're going to want to do is, of course, you'll have your ground case, which is the big hole at the bottom. We're not going to do that one yet. So the first thing you'll want to do is take your black probe and stick it into the long slot like that. 
And then you're going to take your red probe. You always want to do the black probe first. And then take your red probe and stick it into the hot slot. And when you do that, what you should read, kind of wiggle around. If you look down at the multimeter now, you should see something like 120 or maybe sometimes a little bit above it. That tells you that the outlet is putting out the correct amount of power volts. Sometimes it's a little higher, but it doesn't matter. As long as you're seeing something above the 120. So now that we tested that, we know that this outlet is getting the correct amount of volts. So now what we're going to want to test is the case ground, which is the big hole right here. And we're going to be testing the case ground to your neutral, which should give off a reading of zero. So we're going to put this in here and put this in here. And as you can see, we're getting nothing on it. That should be zero reading because this is just coming from this up here is just coming from the case ground going to your neutral. So basically you're not going to get any reading on this. Now what we're going to be doing is testing our case ground with our hot side. Remember the smaller slot is always the hot in which you're going to be putting the red one in. So we're going to put the black one into the bottom hole like that into the case ground, then we're going to put the red one into the hot. And when we do that, if you look at the multimeter, you should see that it's reading the correct voltage again. Because this is basically ground going to hot now. So you're getting the correct voltage. So that tells me that the case ground is working correctly, as well as that my voltage is coming out correctly from the outlet. Now what I can do pretty much is I can test the actual um, the ground for the actual cover itself which by doing that I can just put touch on the screw lots of me have a screw in the middle you kinda wanna find some type of a metal pretty much and I'm gonna be testing that with ground it should get nothing I'm just on the screw into the ground and now I'm testing that was like ground to ground pretty much and now I'm going to be doing the the ground in that screw to the neutral up here which I should get nothing also and if you can see the thing there should be nothing on there and now what I'm going to do is be testing this screw that's on the actual cover you want to find some type of a metal with the hot and see now I'm getting 124 that tells me that this outlet is working correctly the, the ground is pretty much on this screw is grounded correctly and that's why when I touch it into the hot I'm getting my 124 again and you want to do the same thing with the bottom one just in case you want to test both outlets go through the same process always remember that the long slot is going to be your neutral the short one is always going to be your hot and you always want to put the black one in first Always start with your neutral first before you put the hot one in, the red one in. So the long slide you see up close, that one's longer than that one. So always stick this one in first, and then stick that one in. And you should be able to get your reading. Alright folks, this is the way that you should test an outlet that you may have in your house. Sometimes you might want to test it because you're having a problem with it. Say lights and stuff keep on blowing because it could be a problem from the electric company that's basically sending too much power to this outlet or sometimes you may have a problem where you're not getting enough power coming out of it and this is just a quick way that you can test it with a very inexpensive thing which is your multimeter to test it alright folks please check out our other helpful videos please like share and subscribe thanks